I've been in jail since I've been about 16, but uh, this uh, sentence I've been in for 17 years. There comes a time when you just get fed up with running from cops and running from everything. You're fighting over these stupid colors. We have a philosophy at Stan Daniels that we can't help you if you don't help yourself. The things I was taught is you don't talk about things like that, you keep it in silence. It's a place where you can fight those demons that you have deep inside. When you go to a healing lodge, it's supposed to be the end of your sentence, and it just so happens that the end of your sentence is probably your toughest. You have to be able to heal yourself to the point where you're comfortable walking out into the community and, and holding a job and being able to, you know, to be a, a support to the people in your family as opposed to a burden. Education was a big part of what I've been doing for the past few years, um, working towards a business diploma. Here I have opportunity to use the, the phone freely as I need. The director grants me access to internet if I need to do research on funding or courses. I finished schooling while I was inside and I uh, got my actual diploma and then I picked up an apprenticeship in welding. I get up at like 5.30, I go to Tim Hortons, grab a coffee, <laughs> then I go to, uh, to the bus stop, work till five, and then go back on a bus again. And so employment is a key part of what we do. We like to get them engaged as quickly as we can within the parameters that we have to work with in either a work release or getting employment as quickly as we can because the, the real world is you, you have to be able to provide for your family. If you don't have that, then you fall back into the old habits. I work hard during the week and, you know, right now I still got a little bit of rules, little things that I have to follow. When I do get full pro, that's, it's going to be... It's going to be weird for a little while, it's going to be a little scary, but uh, it's something I'm looking forward to. I've been looking forward to that for a very long time. Right now I'm not paying a lot of bills, like power bills and water bills, so I don't, all that's in the future, I don't know what's coming, right? So sometimes it's a little scary, sometimes it, it, sometimes it overwhelms me because I, I don't know, uh, that's a lot of responsibility. So I just want to work and stuff and just be a productive law-abiding citizen out there now and not getting involved in stuff anymore. Getting a real check on the street, that's what kind of keeps me motivated to stay out of trouble and stay free, you know. It may not be as much as like the fast money was, but the fast money wasn't worth it, so I'd rather stick with something that's honest. We have a uh, required savings account, a trust account, where 30% of what they make is theirs and will always be theirs. It helps you with your first couple months of rent or something, or help you get on your feet out there instead of just kicking you out and have nothing. And it's made the difference between uh, the boys when they do get out having to settle for something a couple blocks from here or a decent place to live where their family can come and their children's services is comfortable bringing their children to visit. So instead of walking away with $80, some of our boys leave here with four and five thousand dollars. What we try to do is teach them about forming a foundation of beliefs and values and having their own sense of dignity. And so the smuds, and the medicine itself, it's a purification ceremony. The sweat lodge is the most important aspect of, of the healing at Stan Daniels. And we have them once a week. We are putting teachings and knowledge in them through ceremony. Sweat Lodge is a place where people can vent, they can bring out whatever's bothering them. Those types of things often come from years of abuse or being abused at an early age or, you know, abandonment, neglect. All of those things accumulate, so it gives them an opportunity to start to unload that and to put it in a perspective where it's okay, you know, it's okay to to talk about it, it's okay, it's a safe place. They ask for that forgiveness, right, through the ceremonies, to be forgiven for what brought them to prison in the first place. And so we say to them, well, you ask for forgiveness. 
But what are you willing to give? What are you willing to do to forgive those that hurt you? You know, that takes quite a while. It's, it's not just the one, one sweat's gonna fix that, you know. Sometimes it takes years of a person to, to work through that stuff. And so once they get that, then they're gonna start to turn their life around and treat their people better. The most important thing that we provide is the sense of hope. Healing provides hope. The warrior program provides hope. The ceremonies and the elder interventions that we have here provide hope because it's not about beating somebody up for what they've done. It's, it's about how do we make your life better? I'm reconnecting with my sons right now. They're still kind of uh, going down that wrong path right now and I'm trying to get them, pull them back. And you know, it's, it's hard because uh, I haven't been around for them, you know? So right now I'm trying, to, I'm trying to build my life up so they can see where I came from and what I'm doing now. I'm nervous, there's always gonna be that, right? But I try my best, right? As long as I'm not doing the same old patterns and stuff that I was doing before, then I should be fine, right? Just keep going to work and going to meetings or whatever, it keeps me out of trouble, right? The healing part is about a lifetime free, not just getting them out so that they make it to their warrant expiry, but getting them out so that they won't come back. In order for you to be successful, you have to be true in here. And if you're true in here, you treat people with respect, you're gonna treat everything with respect. You're not gonna be of any harm or any concern to anybody. You won't come back to jail. And the communities that they go back to are safe. They're safe in the community. The number of people that have graduated from Stan Daniels and have secured good housing, good employment, reconnected with their family, that's what the program's about. For us, there is no alternative. It's the only way we can do it in order to break the cycle of violence, child welfare, of criminal behavior, and so they need the warrior program. They need healing.